Welcome back to Mary's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make for you one of the best dressings I've had and for our Thanksgiving table it's a must. It's cornbread dressing with sausage and apples and I will put it together show you the different ingredients and it's a versatile delicious dressing. Goes along great with ham or turkey. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. First thing you want to do is get a nine by 13 pan in around a tablespoon or so of butter and just butter your pan all over with the melted butter. So that's number one and your oven is set at 350 degrees. Now this is two boxes of Jiffy corn mix very simple to do. So there's two, and I am adding two thirds cup of milk. And just keep whisking, two large eggs. So what I'm doing is making our cornbread actually makes really good cornbread. So I want to whisk it until it's nice and combined. Try to get out as many lumps as you can. Getting all the sides scraped. I'm just going to do this until it's all incorporated. Get some of those lumps out. Okay, that looks good enough. Then you have your pan ready. And I'm gonna pour it all in my pre-buttered pan. This is gonna go in the 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Doesn't take too long to form our basis for our cornbread dressing, our cornbread. You get it all, it looks kind of thin, but you want it thin to cook. Swirl it around, make sure it covers the whole bottom. Okay, ready to go into the oven. I took it out of the oven, nice and brown, stuck my little toothpick, it's cooked. So now we just have to wait till it cools off to move further. While the cornbread is cooling, I'm going to be actually frying up my Jimmy Dean sausage. So we'll show you how all that all comes together. One thing I want to show you is when you're uh, frying hamburger meat, or like in this case, a sausage, this little tool really comes in handy. It uh, mixes up, instead of using a fork or a spoon, it will break up all your meat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this sausage. I have it on medium high heat, breaking it up for around six minutes or so until I see it's brown. It's been around six minutes. You can see it's nice and brown. What I'm going to do now is drain it. Uh, I don't want all that oil to go into my dressing. So just pour it out to some paper plate with a bunch of paper towels. And let's get that draining. I'm gonna use this pan again. So I'm just gonna set it to the side. Let this drain a little on the paper towels. But it's perfectly brown, ready to go into the dressing in the cornbread. Now everyone should have one of these large stainless steel bowls. I use this more than any other bowl that I have. But uh, it's a good staple to have. My cornbread is nice and cool, ready. So I'm gonna be just taking it out of here and crumbling it into the bowl. Just making it, you know, tiny, but not micro tiny. But there's your cornbread. And you just get it all into the bowl, breaking it up. So we have really got this going now. 
Yeah, it's fun. Okay. All of it, it's in here. Now I'm actually just making sure all the big pieces are cut up. Makes quite a bit. Okay, nice. Luscious cornbread. Then I'm actually going to go ahead and put my uh, sausage in there and just mix it around at this point, breaking up again any big pieces. So, we do have more ingredients to put in here, but this is the start. Then we'll go on to the next step. My butter is pretty much melted, so I'm going to add my onions. That's one cup diced onions. It's about a half a large onion, and that's in there. And then I have a cup of chopped celery. It takes around four stalks of celery to make a cup chop. So now I'm going to fry this for around four to five minutes until it's translucent. It's been cooking around uh, six minutes. Getting translucent, it's about ready to go. So now I'm going to add the other ingredients. This is one full apple, diced and peeled. I use a F Fiji apple. It doesn't matter that much, you can use other kind, but I used a Fiji on this. Adding that in to stir already. Then I'm putting one tablespoon of fresh sage. Sage is very powerful, especially the fresh one. So uh, you don't want to put more than that because it can't overpower the dish. I'm adding a one teaspoon of dry thyme. The dry thyme, again, is powerful, but not as powerful as fresh, believe it or not. So that's one teaspoon. A half a teaspoon of salt in here. Not too much salt. Keep stirring it around. And one thing, I like to add a little color. This is one third a cup of cranberries, dry cranberries. That just gives it the red spots in there that I like to see. And it gives it a sweetness too, along with the apple. How colorful that looks already. You've got greens and whites and reds and all kind of pretty colors. So I'm just gonna cook this for a few minutes. Doesn't have to cook long. Of course, you're gonna be cooking it in the oven all going to bake up really good together and melt all the flavors. Okay, we're back over here to our large pot that has the cornbread mixture. I'm going to add, it's kind of heavy, the uh, apples and the onions and everything into this now. Everything including the butter. Okay, move that over. Two spoons going in here. Let me turn off the stove. To this, I'm going to add one scrambled egg. It's already been scrambled. Pour it in there. Kind of helps bind it all together. Don't need more than that. Keep mixing. Want everything well mixed. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is add chicken stock. I make my own sometimes, but this time I just use Kitchen Basics. I like this brand, and I like chicken stock, not broth. So anyway, I'm going to put the whole thing, but not all at once. Put a little bit, mix it. This is 32 ounce chicken stock. A little bit more. Stir it up. You don't want it too moist or too dry. So this is a pretty good combination. Turning it, mixing it all together. I think I have enough to go around one more time. The last of it. 
whole box. It might look a little wet, but remember you're going to bake it and it's going to dry up. pretty colors. You see the apples, you see the cranberries in it. Okay, we're going to put it in our bowl next. Here's my 9 by 13 casserole dish that I've buttered and I'm going to add my dressing to this bowl. Everything scraped up. going to just spread it around evenly. Baking pan. I'm going to actually cover this with foil and bake it for 30 minutes. It's 375 degrees. Then I'm going to uncover it and bake it for an additional 10 minutes. We want it not to burn, but we want it to brown at the end. It's nice and spread out, and I'm going to cover it now with foil and stick it in the oven. It's covered with foil. Here it is, ready to go into the oven. It's going to go in for tw uh, 30 minutes at 375. See you when it's finished. bread dressing. It's ready to go. I'm just going to get a little portion of it in the bowl so that we make sure it's tasting just like I like it. It's perfect. It's sweet. They have that cornbread. You have the sausage giving it that salt. It's really a nice, delicious dressing. I think you'll enjoy it any time of the year and not just at Thanksgiving. But uh, hopefully you'll make it and your family will enjoy it with you. Thanks for watching.